it's increased a lot of late. The market has been very positive, uh, largely because I think the market has been quite disappointed with the Fed's reaction to higher Treasury yields at the long end, which they almost viewed as hawkish. Um, and also that could remain for a little while longer because, as you know, the Fed is in blackout now. Uh, so what they started, they can't really undo in the, in the near term. However, longer term, we do think that the dollar weakness story uh, has more legs and is fundamentally still the way that we expect the market would react. And there's a few reasons for that. While U.S. real yields are higher, uh, while U.S. nominal yields are higher, real yields are still significantly negative. There's still a huge amount of liquidity at the short end, and that also means that it's cheaper to hedge uh, dollar investments that people have made in the in the previously. Uh, the yield curve has deepened, and that also makes the case for hedging more compelling because you know it's much cheaper to hedge at the short term. Um, and lastly, we don't really think that the stimulus package has been completely priced into the market. While it's imminent. Uh, we do expect that it's going to be positive for risk and therefore ultimately negative for yields and for the dollar. Right. And so how much of the stimulus is not priced? And let's talk about that, Shafali. And what would that essentially mean for the trend from here? We do think that the market is not completely pricing in all the impacts of the stimulus and in a sense is almost uh, treating uh, the moves on the long at the longer end of the yield curve as if it brings forward a, a, a rate hike cycle of the Fed. And we believe that, you know, it's kind of set up for disappointment because ultimately the Fed is going to disappoint at the at the short end. Um, so uh, from a longer term point of view, we do think that the, the dollar has more room to weaken. We have a 12 month target on the DXY of uh, 87 to 88 kind of level. So, you know, as you can see, we still have, uh, we, we do think that there's a longer term weakness still in play.